Hello guys, Jacob here, and I want to follow up on a last video I made, which I called um, "Questions Atheists Can Never Answer." All right, and in this segment or in that in that video, I talked about the chemical reactions in the human mind. Okay, so if there is no God, okay, then the chemical reactions, the electric impulses. The fluids, the meat that's in our head is nothing more than that, okay? So just think of having a, a chemical test tube, okay? Let's say you have a test tube with chemicals in it, and then you have another test tube with a different type of chemical in it, okay? So these are two long test tubes with two different types of chemicals, and then I pour this chemical into the other test tube to cause a reaction all right now that is basically what our brain is if there is no individual no mind no spirit behind what this is okay so whenever you have this chemical test tube with these two different types of chemicals reacting when you hear the fizz okay you say there's a reaction here there's a, there's a fizz does that fizz mean anything? Does that fizz mean anything? Could you cause this reaction and, and, and tell somebody, hey, this, is, this means something. This means truth. This means morality. This means logic. You can't. You can't do that because it's just chemical reactions, okay? So the mind, our human minds, if there's no person, no personhood, no no um, individual, no will, no intent behind this this reaction here, okay? If there is no mind or spirit, then all it is is this big glob of chemical reactions taking place, okay? And thus, just like that chemical test tube, we cannot presuppose that it is logical that it has reason, that it has intent, that 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 it can that it can produce truth is basically what I'm trying to say. You cannot say that it can produce truth or logic or morality. Okay, you cannot say that something is immoral or not immoral or not immoral. Okay. You cannot say that because it's just a big bag of these chemicals reacting, all right? What you can say, or really, you really can't say nothing. You can't make any truth claims because you must presuppose that logic exists in order to make a truth claim. Now, this goes into another area of atheism or, or another area of possibilities if atheism is true. Because if this isn't about anything, right, then does that mean that we have a will? I mean, does this bag of chemicals control us or do we control the bag of chemicals? Or is it a combination of the two? Okay, do we have any control at all over our thoughts, over our reactions, over our emotions? And if we don't have any control, then... People cannot be held morally responsible for what they do, okay? And thus, free, the idea of free will or the idea of any type of will is, is not logic. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. There's, there's no, there's, there would be no such thing as will, whether it's determined or not. There's no such thing as will, okay? Now, I'm not trying to get into the argument of determinism or free will. I'm just trying to make a solid point here, and that's that if we don't have any control at all over our chemical reactions in our heads, or over what we think, or over how we react, then how do we tell children, okay, kids, you know, you got to learn self-control. There's no such thing as self-control if we don't have a spirit, okay? What is self-control? If there is no ability to have a will or intent behind these emotions, these reactions in our head, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, this has nothing to do with your memories affecting what you will do next, okay? This is just 
the simple be uh, practical belief that if we do not have a will or intent or mind or, or anything like that, then how do we have control over our emotions? Now, the reality of things is that we can see that we do have control over our thoughts, over our reactions, part, at least partly, okay? We, we can control how we react to someone by learning, okay? We learn from certain situations, and we learn to have self-control, all right? That is what the spirit is. It's, it's the idea of having control. It, it goes beyond chemical reactions just taking place randomly. It's the idea of have, actually having control. You're the admin of this body here. You're the spirit, the mind. But in, in, athe in an atheist worldview, there's no such thing as that. There's no such thing. Which is just another contradiction, another contradiction of reality, okay? Now people say, well, it's just the reality of things. We can see that things have purpose. We can see that one reaction leads to another, okay? Yeah, but that's just by saying, just because you say it's the reality of things doesn't mean that it supports your world of view. In fact, it it supports the world view of someone who at least believes in a spirit, in a god, in a higher power. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, I recommend watching that before reading the comments down below because oftentimes you have people who just watch this video and 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 comment something down below which I had already addressed in the previous video. Even atheists who even seen who had seen my previous video comment something down below that totally contradicts what I've already went over. Okay, they do that for a reason because they do not want to address the solid answers I gave in my previous videos. So just check out those other videos, all right, before you comment down this video, and you have a blessed day.